sliding sports are some of the fastest sports on ice in the world. Bobsleigh is known as Formula One on ice, known for its breakneck cornering speeds, its high speed sleds, its phenomenal athletes, and just all round daring nature. It is one of the best sports to watch on ice. But how fast do bobsleighs actually go? Let's waste no time, let's get straight into it. Let's go. of a bobsleigh is dependent on several different factors. Most notably, the track. Every track will have a top speed within a couple of kilometers an hour, but every track has that top speed, something that you won't exceed with the current situation. Maybe in 10 years when sleds and athletes and everything has developed even further, maybe it'll go faster, but for the most part, each track will have a bracket in which the elite sleds are going in terms of speed. That's because you're completely dependent on the steepness of the hill and the corners themselves. If it was just a straight line, straight down a massive mountain, of course you'd go much faster, but ultimately we have turns, and indeed we have some turns that are designed to slow you down. So there's a part of a certain track called a chrysal, essentially just meaning a full loop. Now those were introduced in bobsleigh in order to slow the sleds down because the technology was getting that good that the sleds were moving too fast for the ice itself. So the biggest factor by far is the track. Next up you have the sled itself. You have a broad range of different sleds in the same way that you would cars. You've got everything from a brand new learner car, that's something that you pick up as your first one, right up to the really high performance supercar F1 style sleds. So it really does come down to the equipment that you're using, how fast that is, how well it's built and all of that. And of course you have the push start. So that's a whole element of what we do where we're pushing the sled right at the start, trying to get in, trying to make the sled as fast as possible. Now all of these three factors, the drive, the sled and the start, contribute to how fast the sled is going. Now the fastest track in the world is in Whistler. It was used for the Vancouver 2010 Olympic Games. It's by far the fastest. So to cut straight to the point, the fastest speed that anyone's done there is just shy of 100 miles an hour. So that's a four man down Whistler. So that is right at the peak, 100 miles an hour is how fast the sled can go. Now you're going down this track with absolutely no brakes. Well, you have brakes, but you don't use them until you cross the finish line and you're just getting faster and faster and faster. And let me tell you, having driven Whistler track, it's an incredible feeling. There's a section of the track called the Gold Rush Trail where you've just got these little left and rights and then you go into this big corner 16, big right hand turn and you're doing exactly that near enough 100 miles an hour into this wall of ice and wow, like talk about adrenaline. But most other tracks will operate between around 80 miles an hour and that 100 mile an hour gap with a, a, a reasonable top speed being 120 to 130 kilometers an hour. So my memory card got full and I've only realized it just now when coming to edit. But essentially that's your answer. Just shy of 100 miles an hour for the fastest sled. Fastest generally being a four man. You then have the two man and the monobob that go a little bit slower. But even though they're less than half the weight, they don't go half as slow. In fact, the difference between a two man and a four man in terms of top speed at a track like Whistler, generally only five to 10 kilometers an hour. So not a huge difference. Um, that comes down to a variation of factors. Uh, four man is a lot harder to steer, especially in those tight corners, which slows it down. Um, and actually weirdly, two man starts are now faster than the four man start, just because athletes are getting good enough to move the two man as efficiently as four people can move the four man. But there's your answer. Thank you so much for watching guys. Uh, be sure to hit subscribe down below for more bobsleigh content. And as we shift into the summer, a lot of info on how we prepare for the upcoming season and then going into the World Cup. So drop a like if you've liked the video. It helps me a lot. But regardless, thank you so much for watching guys. Bye.